Welcome back, folks. Uh, well, uh, when I looked at the headlines today, it didn't surprise me. Didn't surprise me at all. Watchtower wants to settle. Montana. Imagine that. After, after all those years, five years, what is it? We're going to look into this in a bit. But first of all, you know, this just made me, I had to do a, a video. Just, this is just for Watchtower. Here it is. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Money makes the world go round. Downtown Remy gave me the sound. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. You got a five dollar bill, put your hands up. You got a ten dollar bill, put your hands up. You got a twenty dollar bill, put your hands up. You got a fifty dollar bill, put your hands up. Holla holla. Money makes the world go round. I'm the talk around town. Remy gave me the sign. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Well, this isn't uh, new, Watchtower wanting to settle. It's happening every day all around the world. And uh, the more I looked into this, the more I realized that uh, Watchtower has been settling with lots of people. But in this case, it's a bit different. Uh, it's a bit different in this Montana case. And we're, we're going to look into this and we're going to see uh, what, uh, what could happen. Okay, well, just in case you're not sure, I, um, I went back to uh, just searching Montana case. I just put in Montana CSA case, 35 million. Man, did a lot of stuff come up. Like Wikipedia has a whole section on this. Uh, you, could, you could talk for two days on Wikipedia and Jehovah's Witnesses. I'll tell you folks, this is going down in the history books of mankind forever. Um, how Jehovah's Witnesses handle child sex abuse. And uh, it's in Wikipedia. The 2018, a jury in Thompson Falls, Montana, awarded $35 million to a victim in Montana. The Jehovah's Witness sex abuse case underscores a church's worldwide reckoning. Goes on to talk about it. Uh, where is it? Wikipedia, right here, behind me. <laughs> And it talks about a lot of stuff in Wikipedia. It talks about uh, the two witness rules, the policy, questioning the victim, reproof and restrictions. You know how a lot of victims get disfellowshipped for talking. Uh, comparison with other religions, cover-up allegations, 2014 investigation in the United Kingdom, the Australian Royal Commission, New Zealand abuse allegations, Canada, a couple class actions going on, United Kingdom, United States, this is huge. What's going on in the Jehovah's Witness religion? We're going to talk a little bit about this Montana case. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, 35 million lawsuit. This was going back to 2018, 2019. Two women filed a um, lawsuit in Montana alleging that the church elders failed to report that the church member one of the plaintiff's stepfather was sexually abusing them, resulting in years more of abuse. And the stepdaughter, the alleged abuser, told the Kingdom Hall elders about the abuse in 1998, they told them, according to a report. Now, however, due to the requirement that there were, two, there were to be two witnesses, the church or the Kingdom Hall elders refused to believe her. And the man, uh, he went on to sexually abuse her and her other family members for six years, this, this JW. So the, uh, the Jehovah's Witness organization covered up the abuse and a jury agreed and awarded the plaintiffs $35 million in punitive damages. However, uh, the case is not, it was appealed. Jehovah's Witnesses who claim that they are shielded by laws protecting clergy members from reporting confessions. This is what they're going on. Uh, the clergy penitent privilege. The Catholic Church get out of jail free card. 
So that's what's going on. Um, what's going on now? Well, uh, we're going to go all the way over to, um, yeah, uh, like Mark O'Donnell did a little write up on this. He says, after five years of contentious litigation in Montana federal court, the Jehovah's Witnesses have filed a motion to engage a magistrate judge to oversee a settlement conference between the Watchtower organizations and multiple child abuse victims. Wow. They want to settle. You see, they want to come up with a with a fee. How much? And uh, this is it. This is the uh, the thing right in front of me from the court. It's just been filed June eighteenth. So uh, here's what's interesting. This Joel. Everyone's asking what's going on with Brumley. Where's Brumley at? Well, they sent this Joel M. Taylor. Now he's appearing pro hack vice. Now, do you guys know what that means? Well, <laughs> I didn't uh, until I looked it up. So here's what it means. It's a Latin term meaning for this occasion. So for this occasion, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, they're referring to a lawyer who is temporarily admitted to practice law in a jurisdiction or court only for a particular case so that the lawyer may appear in a case without being formally admitted to practice law in the jurisdiction or court where the case is pending. So what's happening to Brumley? Well, they just don't have any lawyers. Brumley can't, Brumley's discredited himself. You know, he's, he was dismissed in the appeal, charged $154,000. Wonder who paid for that. So that's what that, this means, uh, this Latin term, pro havoc, pro have hack vice. So they have another lawyer that, it's not even legally uh, in the, uh, able to practice law in Montana. I hope he's not a janitor like Ben Elders. I hope he's a real lawyer. I'm sure he is. So anyways, they got this guy coming in. He's from Miller, McMarn, and Taylor, LLP. So they probably just hired a lawyer. And uh, they got to represent them. <clears throat> hmm. For all these cases, I guess, multiple cases maybe. So here's what it says. The defendant watched our Bible and Tract Society of New York, Inc. by and through its counsel of record respectfully moves the court for an order referring to this matter to a U.S. magistrate judge for the limited purpose of holding a settlement conference addressing this matter, as well as this court's cause, uh, the parties have been engaged in good faith settlement negotiations, really. Well, that's, that's a matter of opinion, I think, that they've engaged in good faith. Anyways, the parties have been engaged in good faith settlement negotiations. It's Watchtower just trying to get out of going to, tri going to trial in front of a jury. Well, they, and requests assistance of the U.S. magistrate judge in continuing such a settlement negotiation in order to potentially avoid the time and expense of trial and conserve judicial resources. <laughs> right. You guys heard about Norway. They're going back to court in Norway. They're appealing it. They sued Norway for the money because they weren't getting the money. They lost. And now they're going back to appeal it. Nine days in court. It cost Watchtower almost a half a million for the last 10 days. And they want to avoid time and expense of the trial. They spent five years. Those girls spent five years going after Watchtower. Motion after motion. Watchtower um, being silent in court. Not responding. Lying, deceiving. Throwing Bromley up there. Caught for lying and deceit. And, and now they want to... Uh, avoid time and expense of the trial and conserve judicial resources. Anyways, uh, counsel for the plaintiffs and counsel for the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of Pennsylvania have been contacted and this motion is unopposed. A proposed order is submitted here within, so it's going to happen. These people are going to meet. So it doesn't mean that they've accepted it. They're going to meet with the Watchtower, see what they have to offer. And it could be... Um, kind of an offer that, okay, well, this is what Watchtower is going to have to pay out, just like uh, the Catholic Church. 
X amount of dollars per CSA case kind of a thing, maybe. Maybe. Now, uh, what's uh, there's another paper here. Uh, what does this say? This says, uh, upon the defendant, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, the motion is granted. So it sounds like it's granted and they're going to meet. So, yeah. So these guys are all going to get together and try and see if they can uh, settle this out of court. And uh, then we'll be able to let you guys know what's going to happen next. You see, it'd be a lot of embarrassment for Watchtower to go to a trial in front of a jury. They've already got all these uh, <laughs> alumina, alumina uh, in place, this alumina in place, you know, the, this motion, so they can't speak about anything not, pertain not pertaining to the case. Like they're basically in, in a checkmate position, Watchtower, right now. So this, this will be interesting, folks. We'll see what happens next, but you heard it. We've read the documents. They don't lie. Uh, you'll never find this stuff on JW Org. So folks, until next time, keep living your life with love. See you on the next video. Bye for now. Ode to the Watchtower. Oh, how you suck. Your wicked ways have thine self fire trucked. You've hurt so many people in so many ways. People are lining up just to see you pay. You have wrecked so many lives, and that is the truth. I see it in my comments, and there is so much proof. I really hope to help as many as I can to recover from your lies and make an escape plan.